Hey, it's Mark coming to you from Baker's Green Acres. <clears throat> the project for today is biochar. And I'm going to do a couple of parts on this because uh, there's a couple of different phases of this. And biochar, or as they say down south, biochar, and as they say over in Boston, biochar, um, is a part of a bigger system, okay? Now, when we talked about our grow area, which is right over there, we have a couple of our growers out there. Um, we talk about soil life, and part of the life that's in the soil is bacteria. All right, so we need to protect that bacteria in the soil. Now, when we make a compost pile, we're putting carbon and a high concentration of bacteria in the form of manure together, and the bacteria in the manure starts to eat the carbon in the, um, in the wood, in the wood chips. And then after a while, we have soil, and so you could say it's, it's bacteria poop is what soil is. It's a little bit more complex than that, but that's a good way to think of it. So what we want to do is we want to protect that bacteria and enter biochar. This is a piece of wood that's been um, cooked in a carbon, uh, I mean in a uh, oxygen deprived environment. And that's what this machine right behind me is. It's a very simple machine. It's called a retort. This one is named Triceratops because it's got three stacks on it. This is the sixth biochar retort that we've built. I mean, you can't really tell what's going on there from the outside, but it is uh, burning right now. It's in the, uh, the initial stage. We've just touched it off. I have some students coming from uh, the university today, and so the first part of the burn is kind of boring, right? Because it's just, it just looks like a burn barrel going. But as soon as it starts to what they call gas off, that's when the blocks of wood on the inside of it start to give off their gas or their volatiles, sometimes they're called. And when that happens, um, <clears throat> you know, they're quite flammable. So the thing starts to roar. It sounds like a jet engine going. Okay. Really nice day here today. A little, little on the cool side. You can see I have my jacket on. But when this is done, we will have uh, about 200 pounds of, of this, of biochar. Now this is the same configuration as the wood that went in. Only thing is there's nothing in it. It is, it is just carbon. All right. Now what this does when we add it to the compost is it provides um, an environment or a habitat for bacteria and protozoa and other microorganisms. So we want as many microorganisms out there as possible. And biochar is the way to do it. So what I'm going to do, I have a tote here full of it. I'm going to uh, load up the front end loader with this biochar and then take it over to those brand new compost piles that I've built. I will part the top of them because they are starting to steam now. And I'll add this biochar in there. And so over the winter, as these compost piles complete, the bacteria that's in there will have a place to hang out until spring, until we can get it into the soil. All right? So that's the whole, the whole idea of biochar. There's a lot of interesting principles to this. Um, and we'll get into that. I plan to do a lot more on biochar. Actually, I'm going to be going out to uh, the Weston A. Price Foundation annual uh, conference to do a, um, a workshop on biochar. So I'm getting myself tuned up on it as well and I want to share it with everybody else because it's really an integral part of what we're doing in the small farms industry. Um, this can be used for feeding the bacteria in the soil. It can be used for feeding the animals. I've shown you that before. We throw this to the animals and for some reason uh, they eat it. They really like it. And what it does when it passes through their system 
is it becomes inoculated with their bacteria and then it is sequestered into the soil. And that's a really cool thing because uh, the animal bac bacteria that's found in the animal digestive tract is very useful in our soils. That's why, you know, when you, when you sprinkle manure down, you know, if you're going to plant a tree or a plant or something like that, um, you can't put too much. It's too much of a good thing. Uh, but it really helps the fertility of the soil. So biochar is really a super fuel for building good soils. This in itself will not, this is quite inert. There's really nothing in here. We need this inoculated with good bacteria from compost pile. I've um, fed this to animals now for quite a long time. We grind this up and put it in a chicken feed and then I feed chickens out on the field uh, in chicken tractors and so they're eating this it has completely done away with my need for any kind of medication for any of the things that plague pasture poultry people we've been doing this now for going on 10 years um, I wound up taking care of the the chickens for the most part this year and I had no coccidia in those chickens this year at all and it's because I've just been giving them a pretty steady diet of this biochar it works really really well uh, coccidia is a condition in chickens also in in cattle you don't see it in pigs very much where there's a protozoa that starts to embed itself on the cell the uh, intestinal walls of the chick of the chicken and they do that because there's not enough bacteria in their gut for them to eat. So when we, when we add the biochar that is inoculated with a good bacterial source like compost to their feed, it's like a pro, pro, probiotic. We're putting bacteria in their system that the protozoa can eat. Because after all, coccidia is a protozoa that needs to eat um, bacteria to survive. Okay, I'm starting to hear a little activity from behind me. When this thing starts to gas off, it starts to make some noise. And so although, no, nothing really yet. That's just the wind whistling through it. But it's burning. It's pretty hot. I'll uh, turn this back on when it starts to gas off and it gets interesting. Mark Baker Green Acres. Anyway, farm.